Welcome again to my channel, LR Retro. Now, we will start a new series called Grappler Baki, The Warrior's Struggle Arc. It's the chapter where the injured Retsu Kaio tried to join a world-class boxing gym. Do you think Retsu's Chinese martial arts would do well in the world of boxing? Let's find out. But first, please know that you can buy the new Grappler Baki Volume Collections, Baki the Grappler Season 1 and 2 DVDs, and Bandai's Grappler Baki figurine on the link on the description below. By buying, you can help the channel grow and release more Baki videos. Please subscribe and let's begin. The chapter starts inside the Takigawa Mansion. Han Miyujiro is saying. Is that really so surprising? A complete medical examination. I just think that it's time that you had one. A health check? Yujiro. Why would you say that? I feel perfectly healthy right now. But why would you care? You idiot. It's nothing more than some small talk. Well, it is very kind of you. This coming from a man who as a kid went against an army. Who doesn't show any kind of discrimination in a fight regardless of his enemy. Who would easily attack and kill one of his own. Who would fight an infant if it wanted to fight who took down an army and received a pardon afterwards. I get it. That's enough. That is why you are the ogre. Did you all of a sudden stop being Hanma Yujiro? I mean come on. To think you would be concerned about the health of this old man. Yujiro. Did you turn into something else? Old man. It's gotten a little chilly. Is that really the best thing to do? Sure it is. Yujiro. You aren't going to listen. Then Takigawa shouted. Why the hell should I listen to you, you a-hole? Do you even understand what the hell you are saying, you bastard? That isn't something Hanma Yujiro would say or care about. All of a sudden, Takigawa dropped his pipe. And he cough out a lot of blood. Covering the floor with it. Then he lost consciousness. In front of the strongest being alive. Yujiro then said. See. I told you. Then he confronts one of Takigawa's servants saying. Call a doctor. For Mr. Takigawa. After that, the ogre leaves. Happy or unhappy. This man has taken fighting to the ultimate level. Just by looking at his body, you can tell that it is a fact. And by reaching a level no one else is on. Inside his body, a special ability was born. All who came into his sight, he was able to see all of their weaknesses. From small cancer cells people themselves weren't aware of yet. The decaying tooth they have yet to discover. 100% of the time without fail. He can spot all of their vital points. All of it jumps into this man's eyes. It's like a fist that has received a huge amount of training. Or a katana that is extremely well honed. Or bullets that are flying through the air. All of them at one point evolved into the next step of weapons, which gave us tanks and such. Fighting. Beating someone. All of that was redefined destroyed, broken down. With nothing but sheer power, this man has eclipsed all of the past fighters before him. In the history of man, stethoscopes are made so that they can increase your precision. Even a high-quality x-ray machine, or a really skilled surgeon, or a really talented medicine man. All of them can't match up with the 100% discovery rate that sleeps inside the eye of this man's body. But does that make him happy? Are unhappy. We now move on inside a boxing gym. Retsu Kayo is saying. This would be a perfect introduction. Someone then approached him saying. Hello. Did you come to watch? No. Please allow me. To join. Well, to accept. If you pay the entrance fee, anyone can join the club. But, well. You are worried. It's about my leg, isn't it? It's more about your health. I don't mind if you join, but is it really the best thing to do? Of course. I want to train to become a real boxer and be taught by a coach. That's impossible my friend. Not with that leg. This won't hinder me in any way. Listen, it is true that I only have one leg. But you will never hear me complain about it and it won't hinder my fighting. Take off your shoe and come in. Thank you. Let's see you try to hit this. Hit it with all your power, as if you were in a fight. Retsu then thinks. This vulnerable piece of equipment. To hit it as if I was in a real fight. Excuse me. You can buy a new one of these easily, right? My friend. Are you trying to tell me that you are going to destroy this bag? 
If you do that, I will become your exclusive trainer from here on out. Okay. Those words. Don't forget that you said them. Right here. I will show them a flashy punch. Then Retsu Kaio managed to destroy the heavy bag with a Chinese martial art punch. Making its contents fly all over the place. Everyone inside the gym are extremely surprised. Even the coach don't know what to say to him. Retsu continued. Coach. The entrance procedure. Then the people inside gave him a round of applause. We now move on inside a certain hospital. Currently, Mr. Takigawa is being treated. The Prime Minister then said. Mr. Goroko. You opened your eyes? Oh. If it isn't Hato. Then Dr. Kariha entered the room saying. Ha. Good morning. Sorry. Or maybe I should say, well done with coming back. Please rest here for a while. Takigawa then whispered. I would like to see my dream come through. Before I leave this world. Before I die. Before my life truly ends. I want to see my dream become reality. Hmm. Let's have a look at your medical record. Mr. Takigawa, based on your health and your strength, as well as your financial power. It should be possible for you to realize your dream in some shape or form, right? That's true, isn't it? Then the Prime Minister laughs. Takigawa then said. One month. Three months. A few years. What can I do to ensure that I will live one more year? Mr. Takigawa. Maybe if we hurry. I know that vomiting blood is a really big shock. But your actual medical condition. Then he called his assistant saying. Sato. Yes. Come closer. Then he whispered something to him. Yes. Yes sir. Do it right now and don't take too long. Dr. Kariha then said. Do you have a moment to talk Mr. Takigawa? Make sure you rush. Then Takigawa shouted. There is no time to waste. What do you think of this chapter? Do you think Mr. Takigawa will do something to make the greatest father and son fight happen? Comment down your opinion below. Special thanks to Stranger Dragons Prevail, Francois, The Real Zurvan, A Patreon of the Uts, Jacket, Johnny Might, JJF, OK, Vega Punk, Isom Harris, Awesome Swaceable, Trond Becker, Will, Thomas West, Casey, Dead Fox 0606, John Vinovich, Ahmed Zoyer, Joshua Ash, Aiden, Mars Kane, Claudio Aguilera, Francisco Carrillo, Jaden Robinson, Carlos Rios, Reiner Braun, Tarek Abujaber, and Brennan. We really appreciate your help. If you want to support my channel, please subscribe to my Patreon, LR Sean. I will put a link in the description below. Our next video will be about Retsu Kaio versus the champion Manny Pacquiao. Stay tuned.